A common characteristic about good movies is that they don't have to try. One major problem with Myra Nair's Queen of Cat was that it tries too hard. As it chronicles the journey of this young 14-year-old from the slums of Katwin, Uganda to becoming the best chess player in the country while still in her teens, Nair makes sure to include all the foreseeable hindrances of an underdog story. Very generic, no real thrill. Myra Nair, known for her keenly observed dramas, shows hardly any subtlety or the restraint she showed in her 2007 film The Namesake. Maybe it has to do with the fact that she didn't have Irfan and Tabu as actors in this, but the way the screenplay leaps from one portion of the protagonist's life to another, just to take the narrative forward, one can't help but see the post-production manipulation, which seems almost jarringly contrived. Queen of Cat doesn't have the fluidity that Nair's films once had. Especially, her debut feature Salam Bombay and more recently her adaptation of Jhumpa Lahiri's best-seller novel, The Namesake. As we hear poor kids from the slums of Uganda speak in accented English, and the film traces the journey of someone from the shanties, one cannot help but compare the film with Danny Boyle's Slum Dog Millionaire. Only less thrilling and not as smart. Nair doesn't even build the intensity around the cerebral sport of chess to draw in the viewer. So what we see are a montage of pawns taking the bishop, knight taking the rook. Unlike Tobey Maguire's Pawn Sacrifice which came out in 2015, and successfully sucked you in the raw intensity of the game of chess. The drama the conflict and the constant desire to take a leap of faith never seem entirely genuine. Queen of Cat doesn't smell of Uganda, almost making it seem like the work of a foreign observer. One who isn't familiar with the earthy reality of the situation, and that is Myra Nair's unbecoming as a fine director. There are just so many chess metaphors, you almost...